What's up, Survivors? Today, we are going to rank every hero or survivor, as they're called, in Survivor.io on a tier list. Make sure to like and subscribe for more original Survivor.io content. First up, we have the Common Survivor. The Common Survivor is a great all-around survivor who doesn't require an in-game skill slot because all his skills are passive. And he can do things like increase damage, increase your range, and decrease cooldown, making him effective throughout the game. However, other survivors are more unique and can do things like increase critical damage or simply just cause a higher number of damage. So the Common Survivor is going in the C tier for Common. SpongeBob is a very unique survivor who uses a spatula to attack nearby enemies. It's a medium range type melee weapon that you can essentially point in one direction to inflict damage. So far, it's not great in places like Ender's Echo, but it can be useful in vertical chapters or if you constantly spin around to deal damage in a circle around them. SpongeBob requires underwater ruby instead of hero shards to upgrade him, and there has only been one event to get the survivor, although there will be one in the near future. You also had to purchase the survivor, making him premium, but he is nowhere as premium premium as Master Yang, but he is still a fun addition to any collection. I'm going to put him in the D tier since we only have like one event per year to upgrade him or even get him. He's just simply too hard to upgrade. Catnips is one of the funnest survivors in Survivor.io to use. She has a unique skill including a Medidrone that will follow her around and release a healing circle. Where Catnips really shines is with the Broad Waste Guard. The Broad Waste Guard will release a radiation pulse one time when healing, dealing damage proportionate to to HP healed. So the higher the HP you heal, the more damage the radiation pulses will deal. And this can be pretty effective in stages and in close combat situations, since it can wipe out enemies around her. Catnips is fun, makes good use of drones, and can deal a decent amount of damage when their HP is really high, with the right equipment of course. So I'm going to place Catnips in the B tier. Squidward uses his clarinet to deal damage around him, and it can be pretty effective in close combat situations, like Catnips and the Broad Waste Guard. But just like with Spongebob, he requires something else rather than hero shards to upgrade him. Underwater Sapphire. And there hasn't really been enough ways to get him and upgrade him. So I'm going to put him in the D tier with Spongebob. There should be an event soon where you can get Spongebob characters. But once per year is too little. He's basically a collector's item. Wesson throws EM grenades at enemies and has a chance to call for an airdrop. That can supply you with stuff like food and magnets. When a skill is evolved, he can also cause a high amount of damage across the screen, which makes him sound good for kill farming on paper, but I haven't really noticed a difference. He does, however, have great team skills that can increase all your survivors' attack, crit rate, and crit damage. Wesson seems cool, but he's a little lackluster, so I'm going to put him in the D tier. Next, we have Yelena or Yelena, and this survivor has a skill that will shoot bullets around her, making her somewhat useful in close combat situations and in square chapters. You also need to grab sport shoes to evolve her skill, which can be a good choice if you are wearing red void waker treads as they can increase your skill damage depending on your movement speed and the movement speed of your targets. However, her evolved skill is a little janky to say the least, but it can cause damage over a large area once in a while. This survivor is another one that seems cool and I probably like her more than other players, but she doesn't really live up to the hype so I'm going to stick her in the D tier. Master Yang is a premium survivor that can be unlocked with 120 Master Yang shards. He is also the only S grade survivor in the game, but I do expect more in the future, kind of like what they have in their other game, Snaker. A lower level and lower starred Master Yang can out damage other survivors, but he takes more resources, including coins and essence to upgrade. At level 120, Master Yang has over 3,000 more attack and around 17,000 more HP than other survivors. He is also the best survivor to use in Ender's Echo, as he can deal a lot of damage with his unique Palm Wind skill. You can also change his skill into Bulwark Key, which works differently than Palm Wind. It's kind of like the nightmarish version of the Defender that explodes and has additional boosts. If you want to compete against the best in Clan Expedition, Ender Zeko, and in Extreme Challenges, Master Yang is a must-have. He's going in the S tier. He is the best survivor in Survivor.io. Next, we have Worm, and Worm has a skill called Listening Bug that marks enemies around him and causes them to take more damage. He essentially weakens their armor. He can deal a good amount of critical damage 
damage. And if you don't have Master Yang or even King, he is a decent alternative for Ender's Echo and other similar game modes. Listening Bug can be very effective, but it does have limited range. And he cannot deal as much damage or critical damage as other heroes ranked above him. So I'm going to put him in the B tier, although I do like him more than Catnips. Tsukiyomi has a unique skill called Moon Shade Slash that can deal damage in a crescent shape in front of her. Her skill can be evolved with Ronan Ayori, making bladed weapons like the Light Chaser a great pair with her. And once her skill is evolved, it will deal damage in a circle around her. There are different versions of the evolved skill that can either slow down enemies or cause them to bleed. In my opinion, she's a great survivor to AFK with or take into square chapters. I do like her alongside Catnips, but for now, I'm going to stick her in the C tier. And I also like her more than the common survivor. She's kind of like a C plus B minus tier. The last survivor we have is King and King is the queen of crits. She can deal a high amount of critical damage at a persistent rate with her survivor instinct skill and sixth sense evo skill. Before Master Yang was introduced to the game, she was the best survivor in survivor.io. She used to be the best in Ender's Echo before Master Yang took that place, but she is still no slouch. In my opinion, she is currently the best free to play survivor in survivor. If you don't want to spend money or focus on getting shards for Master Yang from events, I would go with King. King can constantly deal crits and get a lot of damage, especially against single targets. So I'm going to stick King in the A tier, right below Master Yang. There we go. That's the full tier list. If you would rank anything differently, let's hear it in the comments below. To learn more about these survivors or to see what they do in action, check out other videos on this channel and streams. We have a lot of them. Thank you so much for watching. Smash like and subscribe. I'll See you later.